Today I'm going to be doing another trial tutorial. This time I'm going to teach you how to learn pedal kicks. Um, my opinion, prerequisite to this is the rear wheel hop. I think it's pretty important to get, you know, a certain degree of rear wheel balance down before you uh, get started with the pedal kick. But people will disagree with that. You can do whatever you want, but just my recommendation. Um, I have a tutorial on rear wheel hops on my channel if you need help with that. But uh, anyways, get started teaching you how to learn the pedal kick. So what I'm going to show you first to learn the pedal kick is something called the wheelie stop. Um, it's sort of a method to learning the pedal kick and it helps you get the timing down, which is usually the hardest part if you've already got some rear wheel balance from the rear wheel hops. Um, so I'm going to show you right now what I mean by the wheelie stop, but basically you're going to go up, do some rear wheel hops, you're going to let your front wheel drop slightly, um, just enough that you would, uh, you know, go back onto both wheels if you didn't do something about it. And what you're going to do to prevent that from happening is let off the rear brake, put some pressure on the pedals, you know, gently, and bring yourself back up to the balance point where you can continue rear wheel hopping. And what you're going to do to get closer and closer to the pedal kick is do those in series. So you're going to go do some rear wheel hops, let the front drop, bring it back up, you know, maybe do one or two correction hops, and then go right back into doing the wheelie stop with the front drop, come back up, get the balance point. And that's going to teach you timing, and eventually you'll just start to do those in series, and then you're pretty much there for the pedal kick. But I'll show you what I mean right now. Alright, so now I'll demonstrate that wheelie stop that I was talking about. First step is just getting up on the rear wheel, starting to hop, you know, just like you always would. Okay, now once you're up, you drop the front wheel and then just roll to keep yourself up. At first, you're going to need to put probably a bunch of correction hops in between, and over time, you know, you take those out and put it more in sequence. So, roll, get your balance back. Roll, and then you can really start putting them together, and you're getting closer and closer to the pedal kick. The more you can put them in the series, and the more correction hops you can take out in between. Right, let's see if I can show you the wheelie stops one more time. Right, so there's a wheelie stop. While you're learning that, don't don't worry about getting your uh, rear wheel off the ground. That's going to come in the next step where you start transitioning the timing that you just learned from the wheelie stop into really surging forward and getting the pedal kick. Okay, now once you get to the point where you can do a few of those wheelie stops in a row, you know, taking as many correction hops um, out in between, then all that's left to getting to the pedal kick is just learning how to exaggerate the body movements while still keeping your balance on the rear wheel and um, just honing the timing. So from the wheelie stop to the pedal kick, just go up like you were doing rear wheel hops, like you are doing with the wheelie stops. Let the front drop just as you did before, but this time surge your body. Instead of just rolling around on the ground, well, <laughs> rolling your back wheel forward, this time you're going to kind of jump with more pressure on the pedals, more explosive, going forward, throwing your hips forward with the bike, and then you'll start to get tight with your pedal kicks, and then, then you're not doing wheelie stops anymore, then you're doing pedal kicks. Um, it does take time to get the balance, because when you throw yourself forward, you kind of lose the balance point, and it's just, it's all practice. With pretty much everything in trials, that's what it comes down to is a lot of frustration, but a lot of practice. Um, but I'm sure if you've reached this point doing the rear wheel hops, that was frustrating enough, so you know that. But um, once again, I'll just show you the pedal kick so you can watch, see the body movements. Go ahead, get some balance up on the rear wheel. Throw your 
body into it. And if you need to when you're learning, don't be afraid to do some correction hops in between to get the balance down. And eventually, with practice, you'll get it. Um, the nice thing, and I'm really, you know, I'm glad that I did this, is I recorded all of the times when I was learning these trial skills. So I'm going to link to those so you can watch them and, you know, make yourself feel better if you get really frustrated. But, you know, everyone who learned the pedal kick had to go through the same crap that you are right now. So don't, don't get discouraged. It's frustrating. Just keep at it. And uh, also subscribe because I'm going to do more tutorials like this in the future.